Thank you. John, I want to ask you about something that's starting to gain steam here in Washington, which is UAPs, unidentified aerial phenomena. Yes, I know There is going to be a House Oversight Committee hearing at the end of this month. Senator Schumer has put forth an amendment to the NDAA that is modeled after the JFK Assassination Records Collection Act. What level of transparency does the Biden administration believe that the American public deserves and should have as it relates to UAPs? Well, without speaking to proposed legislation, I won't do that. As you know, the Pentagon has stood up an entire organization to help collate and coordinate uh, the reporting and analysis of, uh, of sightings of UAP across the military. Uh, before that, there wasn't really a coordinated, integrated effort to do that. Um, and, of course, we will always want to be as transparent with members of Congress and with the American people as we can, considering national security concerns. There, this used to get laughed at for quite some time, for years and decades. What gets laughed at? The idea of Congress taking this up. I mean, Gerald Ford talked about this as a congressman back in 1966, and here we are, <coughs> what is that, 60 years later, give or take. Um, is, is this a legitimate issue? Does the administration believe that getting to the bottom of these sightings in the air, is it a real concern? Is it a real legitimate issue as you see it? Yeah. I mean, we wouldn't stood, we wouldn't stood up an organization at the Pentagon to analyze and, uh, and try to collect and, and and, and coordinate the way these sightings are reported if we didn't take it seriously, of course we do. I mean, some of these phenomena we know have already had uh, an impact on our training ranges for, you know, when pilots are out trying to do training in the air and they see these things, they're not sure what they are and it can have an impact on their ability to perfect their skills. So it already had uh, an impact here um, and we just want to better understand it. Now, we're not saying what they are or what they're not. We're saying that there's something our pilots are seeing. We're saying it has had an effect on some of our training operations, and so we want to get to the bottom of it. We want to understand it better. So, yes. Do you believe these whistleblowers that have come forward? I I'm not going to talk about individual right, whistleblowers. Thank you so much, Sean. I have an Iran question and an Afghanistan question. 